Okay, so this is the ninth lecture. Uh, we're going to talk about the change of bases and some quick introduction to dual space. All right, so first we relate different ordered bases of a same vector space. So here's a the theorem. So for DC ordered bases, for V finite dimensional, we let Q denote the identity matrix with respect these two um, ordered bases. Right? Then we have Q is invertible. So if you swap C and D, we get the inverse of Q. And for V, we have the coordinate representation of V with respect to C. It's just Q multiplied by the coordinate representation of D. Okay, so the proof is really easy. So for part A, so for here, right, we have this, which is IN. And IN is equal to this, right, no doubt. And we have this is the product, right? So you observe that this goes to here, this goes to here. We're given CD, CD, and DC is the inverse, right? So inverse is DC. And for part B, note that IV with respect to V, we have this. But IV is equal to VD, right? Because IV is equal to V. It's the identity map. So we have this, it's true. Right? So now we multiply Q on both sides. Right? So we get VC is equal to Q times VD, as desired. So we have this. We have proven this theorem. Now note that the matrix Q is called a change of coordinate matrix. As we have this, it converts from D coordinate to C coordinate. So if D is this, C is this, for each this, we have each VJ is equal to the row sum, right, of WI, where I runs from 1 to N. So here, we, now we have established relation between ordered bases, and now let's check when the linear map comes to play. So V is finite dimensional, the ordered basis, then we have this is true, which is that if Q is equal to, again, the change of coordinate matrix, then T with respect to D, then is equal to this, right? So this is like direct computation, the proof. So here we have this. So now this um, induced a new de uh, definition, which is called similar matrices. So if A, B are similar, then there is this invertible matrix such that we have R, A, R. So we can say A is similar to B. And similar, we can extend to linear maps, right? If there exists an invertible matrix, uh, I mean, invertible linear maps such that blah, blah, blah. So S is equal to, uh, S is similar to D. So the similarity is an equivalence relation. We have this, this, and this, right? We have these three properties, and these two are trivial to check. For this one, well, if A1 is similar to A2, and A2 is similar to A3, then A1 is similar to A3, right? We just substitute A2 with this thing, which gives this. Now let B equals to R times Q, and we have this, right? So A1 is similar to A3. It's an equivalence relation. So an example, a concrete example. So for any ma square matrix A, we let D be an ordered basis of Fn. We let B be this set of standard ordered bases. Now we consider the multiplication operator. Well, since we have this, right? As before, we proved this before. We proved it somewhere, right? We know that this map is linear bijection, and we have this is true, right? So, since we have this, now we just apply our theorem. We just apply this theorem, right? Which gives this is equal to this times this times this. We just swap them. And this we change D to B. But this gives you A. Well, Q is the identity. Uh, it's the change of coordinate matrix. So here's a more concrete example. So if A is equal to this and D is equal to this, and LAD is gives you this, which gives you this. We just compute that. All right, so now we move on to linear functional. So when W is the field, then this is called a linear functional. And this is called a dual space of V. V, V, V star. I'll say V star. 
someone know like this, but my prop notice like this. It doesn't really matter. They all represent the same object. Now, an example. So for V is the space of continuous function and we fix one element. Now we define mu G. So we're given another F. Our output is the integral of F times G on zero to two pi. All right, so this is like a, some relation with convolution, right? Or Fourier analysis, analysis. But it is not, and we're in linear algebra, so we don't talk too much about it, okay? So now the dimension of V star is equal to this, right, dimension of this space, but it's equal to the dimension of the product third dimension. Dimension of F is equal to one. So they have the same dimension. If they have the same dimension, right, and we assume that V is finite dimensional, which means that they are isomorphic, right? Two finite dimensional vector spaces. If they're isomorphic, if and only if they are having the same dimension. So here, like, okay, we have their dimension of the same. We want to analyze their basis, right? So given the ordered basis of V, we have D star, be a set of functions such that, such that, so where each gamma j values at v i, if i and j are different, it gives you zero, otherwise it gives you one. So it turns out that this is a basis of v star, okay? I left you to check it, it is not hard. And we define a joint of p t, or the pullback, so T from V to W and T star maps from W star to V star. So it's kind of pullback, right? Where each functional maps to T star functional, but T star functional is T, this is phi of T. So phi of T. So how do we analyze phi of T? T goes from what V to W and phi goes from W to F. So it goes to f in phi of t, right? It goes from v to f. So phi of t goes from v to f, which means that phi of t belongs to the functional from v, right? Which is as desired. So this definition makes sense. So the proposition is that the matrix of t star is the transpose of matrix of t. Or DC is the basis of V and W respectively. So this is not hard. We just see, we just look at their, I mean, look at their, their entries that are the same. So if A is this matrix, if B is this matrix, then T star of phi J gives you this, right, the representation. And this of VK gives you BKJ. But this also is equal to this, where V, T, V, K is equal to this. Now we use the linearity of V, and we use the definition, gives you A, J, K. So we see that B, K, J is equal to A, J, K, which are the same. Okay, so this, uh, we walk through the chain of bases in dual space. All right, see you guys.